Good morning children. Today we are going to introduce a new topic that is three digit numbers. In class 1 you have learned the numbers up to 99. You have also learned in class 1 that the smallest two digit number is 10 and the greatest two digit number is 99. But what happens if we add 1 in 99? 99 can be written as 9 tenths and 9 ones. But if we add 1, then it becomes 9 tenths plus 10 ones. That means 9 tenths plus 1 ten. We call 10 tenths or 100 and write it as 100. Now, we have understood that the smallest three digit number is 100 and the greatest three digit number is 999. In a three digit number, the first place from the right is the ones place, the second place is the tens place and the third place is the hundreds place. Now, we will understand different ways to write three digit number. Let us take a number 256 and now we will see it in different ways. First, in a standard format that is 256 that is 256. Second way is using blocks to show the ones, tens and hundreds. Here two blocks of 100, 5 blocks of 10s and 6 blocks of 1s. It can also be written using place value chart as shown. We can write it in words that is also known as number names as 256. Let us look all the three digit numbers starting from 100. Then comes 101, 102, 103 and so on. After 199 series of 200s started and it continues up to 299. In this slide, numbers from 301 to 400 is shown. In this slide, series from 401 up to 500 is shown. Students, read these numbers properly. Then comes series from 501 to 600. Now the series from 601 up to 700 is displayed. In this slide, numbers from 701 to 800 is shown. Then comes 801 up to 900. After 900, 901, 902, 903 and so on the numbers generated and the last three digit number is 999 and after then four digit number that is 1000 started. Coming to the exercise, write the numerals. Now how to write the numerals? Number names are given and you have to write the numbers First is 278. Now how you will write? 278. That is 278. Next is 920. In numbers 9 to 0. Next is 717. That is 717. Now some of the questions I have solved and students Rest of the question you will do. 
Next is write the number names. Now numbers are given and you have to write in words. Now first is 105. Now you will write in words. Next is 168. It is already given. And some of the questions again I have solved. Rest of the questions students do it in your book. Next topic is fill in the missing numbers and complete each pattern. You know already the forward counting. In this one you will add 1 to each number. For example first question is 95 then comes 96 then 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103 and last is 104. In the same way you will do rest of the questions. Our next topic is before, after and between numbers. Before number means Backward counting where we take away 1 from each number and the after number means forward counting where every number is 1 more than another number. We can understand this with an example. Before 173 the number comes 172 that means we take away 1 from 173. In the next one before 319 the number comes 318. And the next after number, after 309, number comes 310. That means we add 1 in 309. And the next 414, after 414, the number comes 415. And the between numbers, between 319 and 9 and 401, the number comes 400. Between 833 and 835, the number comes 834. After numbers, where every number is one more than the other number or we will count in forward direction. After 309, the number comes 310. After 414, 415. And after 471, the number 472 come. Now, students, solve all the questions of this exercise. Now, coming to the exercise of between numbers. Between 399 and 401, which number comes? 400. Between 833 and 835, which number comes? 834. Between 136 and 138, 137 comes. Now you will be able to do all the problems of the between numbers. Now we would understand how to read three digit numbers on abacus. Look at the abacus shown here. It has three spikes showing ones, tens and hundreds, each having some beads. The number of beads in the hundred spike shows the number of hundreds. Here it is two. The number of beads in the ten spikes shows the number of tens. Here it is three. The number of beads in the one spike shows the number of ones. Here it is one. So the number we have got is 2, 3, 1. That is 231. Some questions I have solved for you. In the first one, in the 100 place, count the beats. 1, 2, 3. So write the number 3. In the tens place, count the beats. 1, 2. Write the number 2. And in the ones place, 1. So write the number 1. And what the number we have got? 321. Write the numbers and in number names both. And 
second one is count the beads in the hundreds place that is 5 count the beads in the tens place that is 4 now in the ones place how many beads are there it is 2 so number we have got is 542 and in the same way count the beads of all the questions and write the numbers and number in words both Our next topic is face value and place value. The face value of a digit in a number is the actual value of the digit and the place value of a digit based on its place or position. Now we will understand with an example. Take a number 632. The face value of 6 in 6 is the actual value but the place value of 6 is 600 the face value of 3 is 3 and the place value of 3 is 3 tenths that is 30 the face value of 2 is 2 and the place value is 2 ones that is 2 coming to the exercise in 329, 3 is at the hundreds place and its place value is 300. In 537, 7 is at the ones place and its place value is 7. In 916, 9 is at the hundreds place and its place value is 900. I hope you have understood the questions and do accordingly. Our next topic is expanded form. When we expand a number using their place values, it is called expanded form. We will take an example 658. 6 is at the hundreds place, 5 is at the tens place and 8 is in the ones place. So 600 plus 50 plus 8. The next one is 796. That is 796. 7 is at the hundreds place. 9 is in the tens place. And 6 is in the ones place. So, place value of 7 is 700. Plus 9's place value is 90. Plus 6 is in the ones place. So, write 6. So, some of the questions I have already shown you, do it accordingly. Now, coming to the next is short form. Short form is when we add the expanded form, we get short form of a number. 200 plus 70 plus 3, that is 273. 2 is in the hundreds place, 7 is in the tens place and 3 is in the ones place. Next is 100 plus 80 plus 6. Place the numbers according to their position. So we will got 186. Children, complete the exercise in your book and rest of the topic we will cover in the next session. Thank you.